it's really, really simple and effective to create your own fake sunset. I'm trying to find a safe place for it to stand. So Georgie, you, you're just gonna be like swinging it right round like, woo, yeah, I'm having a good time. Today we are in Woodland in Yorkshire. It is a very grey day. We have no chance of a golden hour. So I'm going to show you how to create a fake sunset using two flashes and the mag sphere. Today I am with my lovely friend Georgie who's going to be modelling for me. And the plan is going to be that we place Georgie down here in the Woodland area. I'm going to have a flash behind Georgie quite up high with the mag sphere, which is going to be my fake sun. And then what I might do is add a second flash just to light up Georgie, just to bring her out from the background a little bit more. So today I'm shooting on my Sony A9 with my 85mm 1.8. I've also got a, um, a Godox X2T trigger. I have an AD200 and a V860. They're actually in plastic bags at the moment. This is just to protect them um, from the rain because it has been raining a little bit. And the very handy mag grid is actually keeping those bags in place at the moment. So this is the AD200. I'm just gonna grab the mag sphere too. So the reason I'm going straight in with the MagSphere 2 is because I have done this before, as you will see in this video. The MagSphere is going to give us a larger spill of light, which is really going to replicate the golden hour much more than a bare flash. So I'm just going to pop this all the way over here. And it's going to be quite far out of frame. Trying to find a safe place for it to stand. So I've just nipped back to get a CTO gel because that's what's going to make us have the appearance of the golden sunlight. And we found a safe spot for this. So I'll pop the full CTO gel on first and then the MagSphere 2. And we're gonna lift that up nice and high and then it will be coming through the trees. So nice and high. So it's gonna be coming in the top of the frame, just as you would expect the sun to. See down there, I don't know if you can see down there, that flash is actually really high on a stand just behind Georgie, just coming in from the left of the frame. So before I add anything else, we're going to see how this looks just with one light. So that's just gonna be our fake sun coming in. And then I might add a second light to light Georgie. Before I ask Georgie to take a coat off and stuff, I'm just gonna get my settings right then. She's not out here cold. So currently my flash power is at a 16th because that's always my go-to and where I start. My aperture is at 1.8 because I want a really nice depth of field in the picture. My ISO is at 200 and my shutter is also at 200. And this is what we're getting for our first test shot. So as you can see, the sun flares really coming in from the corner of the picture. And what you want is you don't want the flash in the picture. You just want the sort of like effect of the flash in the picture. So the flash is just gonna be out of frame. So I'm gonna ask Georgia to take a cut off now and we'll get some pictures and see how we get on. Already we're getting some really, really nice images of Georgie but I do want a little bit more sun flare coming in. So I might just move myself a little bit to get a bit more of that flash in the frame. When you do have a little bit more of the flash in the frame, it is just currently hiding behind the trees. It looks a little bit more like the real sun and you get that, that sort of glow behind Georgie. So my aim is going to be to have the flash almost like poking through a little bit. and that will make it a lot more realistic. But if I now increase that flash power, that is going to be much stronger and much more realistic like the, like the sun. Um, so I've just increased my flash power to a quarter power. You're getting a much, much more realistic effect. But now my image is a little bit too bright, so I'm just gonna bring the ISO down to 100. That's great, Georgie. If you just play with the, the dress a little bit, Georgie. Yeah, gorgeous. The flash is 
in the frame a little bit too much. So we've actually just moved the flash a little bit higher and angled it down a little bit more. So now it's creating a nice golden glow on the ground as well as appearing like it's coming from a little bit higher in the sky. Now we've got the nice golden sun that we're looking for from that first flash. We're actually just going to light Georgie with a second flash. And this one is going to have a half CTO gel on and also a mag grid really to control the spill of that light. Our back flash is B for the back flash. That is currently on a quarter power. The front flash is going to be A and I'm going to start that off on a 16th power. So I'm just going to show you what A looks like just on its own. So I just want a little glimpse of light on Georgie um, that looks quite natural and quite soft as well. Perfect. So now if we add B and A together, so A is the front flash on a 16th power, B is the back flash on a quarter power. So we've got the nice golden glow coming from behind, a little bit of soft light on the front coming from A. Just playing with like the ends of your hair or the dress is perfect. Gorgeous, Georgie. And then your head's just gonna come back towards this light just a little bit, yep. Chin up, beautiful. So Georgie, you, you're just gonna be like swinging it right round like, woo, yeah, I'm having a good time. Yes. Awesome, Georgie. And again, Georgie. Yeah, beautiful. It's really, really simple and effective to create your own fake sunset. All you need is a back flash, which is going to be your sun with a mag sphere. And if you wanted to add a little bit of front lighting, another flash, maybe with a mag grid to control the spill of the light. Thank you so much to my good friend, Neil Ridley, for filming today's video for me and for the lovely Georgie for modeling for me today. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos because we are here for the afternoon and it's been great so far. And here are some of my favorites from today's shoot.